debt depends on the interbank rate, which is variable. Left this way, the interest charges expose sponsors to interest rate risk. It is unlikely they will want to bear these over the long tenor of the senior loan. To hedge this risk exposure, the project company will usually take out a swap on the variable portion of interest charges. Interest rate swaps are contracts which change variable payment obligations into fixed ones or vice versa. Suppose the company takes out a pair swap. This means they agree to pay a fixed sum and receive compensation for the variable interest commitments on their original debt agreement. In practice, the full sums of money in the swap are not exchanged. Instead, swap contract payments only settle on the net difference outstanding under the arrangement. In the typical case, the variable rate will remain lower than the fixed rate agreed on the swap. To settle the contract, this means that the company only has to pay the difference between the higher fixed rate and the lower variable rate. However, if the variable rate ever rises above the fixed rate agreed, it is the swap counterparty who then has to pay the company the difference between the variable rate and the fixed rate. Often, it won't be necessary for the financial model to accurately show all of these details. The net cash flows resulting from the swap contract can be calculated by modifying the all-in rate applied to the senior debt. If you are modeling to support the creditor side of the deal, however, these detailed cash flow calculations may be required, so let's look at how to model them now. To create our swap calculations, we need the expected swap rate at financial close, the swap credit spread, that's the extra interest charged by the lender to compensate for payment risk, and the share of variable exposure which is hedged in the contract. First, let's calculate the all-in rate for the swap. We then use our share hedged assumption to calculate an effective all-in rate. This will be useful to summarize many later calculations linked to the interest rate. However, instead of using this all-in rate to calculate our interest accruals, we continue to use the unhedged all-in rate. Now, let's look at the swap payments. To do this, we need to ask what portion of the interest paid on our senior debt is due to variable interest. Problem is, our senior debt accrues interest on a base calculated from the all-in rate. The swap, however, is only defined on the variable rate and fixed rates, which are compounded separately. We need to approach these calculations carefully. This video is taken from the Project Finance Modeling course by DealMaker. Get the full course today for a discounted price with this exclusive discount code. Just click the link below.